हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर टेकिंग द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन द करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ करंट एंड द चार्ज केरियर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द कॉज ऑफ करंट इन द मैटर सो स्टूडेंट cause of current okay we are knowing that in metals there are there are many numbers of free electrons which are moving in random directions in absence of electric field so in that case when the free electrons are moving in random direction so their all the free electrons are moving from one point to the other point so they do not constitute any current and the average velocity of the electrons are equal to zero so students suppose we have a conductor in which free electrons are moving in random motion any direction okay in metals free electrons are moving in random direction in absence of electric field okay so students when free electrons electrons are moving from one point to to another then each different free electron free electron is moving with is moving with different velocity with different velocity in the matter in the matter so when they are moving in the matter when they are moving in matter in absence of electric field the average velocity the average velocity 
of free electrons free electrons equal to zero equal to zero hence they do not constitute constitute any current any current the average velocity the average velocity of free electron in metal is given by v average is equal to u1 plus u2 plus dot dot un this divide by n where n is number of particles is divide by n is equal to 0 but when these free electrons are uh, but when the conductor is connected with a source of potential so there should be a electric field is established or set up across the end of the material so that the electrons are drifted or accelerated from the negative terminal of the conductor to the positive terminal of conductor from higher potential to the lower uh, from higher concentration of charge point to the lower concentration of charge point so that they are moving with a accelerated velocity now we are going first copy this part and then we are going to the discussing about the drifted velocity or drift velocity first copy it Okay, friends. Drift velocity. This can be also coming as the Lorentz drift model. a conductor a conductor of length l having area of cross section a is connected with a source of potential v by using connecting wires so that the electrons which are moving in 
रैंडम डायरेक्शन लाइक सोन एज इन द डायग्राम ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन द डायग्राम सो when the current is drawn from it first we understood about the conditions this point a of the conductor and this point b of conductor is connected point a is connected with positive terminal so point a is positive end of the conductor and point b is connected with the negative terminal so point b is a negative end of the conductor so students at point b there is higher concentration of electron and at point a is lower concentration of electron so when the potential is provided across the end of the conductor the electric field is generated from the positive end to the negative end so this is the induced electric field in the conductor which is is directed from positive end of conductor to the negative end of conductor okay students after this establishment of the electric field across the end of conductor from positive end to the negative end every electron is experience a force due to the electric field this force is tried to accelerating the electron from point b to point a okay such that the electrons are moving from the negative terminal to the positive terminal clear so students this electron is drifted towards point a similarly this electron is also drifted due to this force of electrostatic towards point a it is in the direction of b to a so it will not drifted and this electron which is is moving in the direction of b due to the electric force it is also drifted towards point p so we are finding here students the electrons are moving from b to a which is in opposite direction of the establishment or setup of electric field so students when the electrons are moving from b to a then we observing the electric current is moving from the electric current is moving from a to b okay students this is the induced current when the potential is provided across the end and electric field is established across the end of the conductor in this case students we find the electrons are accelerating from their random direction to the particular direction which is from negative terminal of the uh, conductor to ya negative point of the conductor b to positive point this is how the electron are drifted and this is actually the uh, demonstration which understood by us how the current is flowing in the conductor so students now first we are moving about to learn what we taken consider a conductor of length l 
एंड एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ए द एंड्स ऑफ द कंडक्टर लेट द एंड्स ऑफ कंडक्टर आर कनेक्टेड विद अ पोटेंशियल वी वी ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी आर टेकिंग हेयर पोटेंशियल बी एंड नेग्लिजिबल इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द बैटरी नेग्लिजिबल इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ बैटरी ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड स्टैब्लिश एक्रोस द कंडक्टर ड्यू टू द सोर्स पोटेंशियल वी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एक्रोस द कंडक्टर एक्रोस द कंडक्टर is e is equal to v upon l this is a student we are using from the formula e is equal to dv upon dr by the electrostatic ya electric gradient next is the force experienced by the free electrons due to the इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय बाय फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन प्रजेंस ऑफ ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड is f is equal to q e here we are using free electron so in place of q we are using here q e uh, in place of q we are using e so it is uh, in place of q is e okay now the force induced in the free electrons is f is equal to ma because the free electrons due to the electrostatic force are accelerated so electron has mass m and the acceleration due to the free electron or electrostatic force is this so we are using here एम ए इज इक्वल टू क्यू ई एंड हियर वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग द नेगेटिव साइन इन हियर बिकॉज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ वेलॉसिटी एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज अपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दे आर फोर वी हैव द एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू माइनस क्यू 
e upon uh, minus q e upon n okay students now this is equation first in metal in metal n free electrons therefore acceleration due to an electron a is equal to uh, okay इस वाले पॉइंट को हम बाद में कर देंगे फिर इन प्लेस ऑफ क्यू ई दिस इज दिस फिर ई एंड स्मॉल एम आर चार्ज and mass of free electrons okay and negative sign is indicates here indicates here the the free electrons electrons are accelerating in opposite direction of direction of इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ओके स्टूडेंट सो फर्स्ट कॉपी टिल दिस पॉइंट देन वी आर मूविंग टू द using here something uh, therefore the final velocity of free electron before collision with other free electron other free electron is given by is given by v1 is equal to u1 plus AT1. Okay, students. This is equation. Uh, this is the velocity of the free electron. Here, T1 is the time. between time between two consecutive consi cutive collisions
and it is known as and it is known as relaxation time time between two collision so copy till this point then we are moving for calculating the drift velocity okay students similarly for similarly for other free electrons u v2 is equal to u2 plus a t2 and v3 is equal to u3 plus a t3 and for nth free electron vn is un plus a tn okay now adding all these velocities on adding we get v1 v2 vn is equal to u1 u2 un plus a is common t1 t2 tn okay now this is the next equation okay student now <clears throat> this equation second is divided by n what we get v1 plus v2 plus vn divided by small n u1 u2 un divided by small n and a t1 t2 tn is also divided by small n now student this will is equal to vd which is called drifted velocity which we learn just before it the average velocity of the free electrons second is this value is become zero initially when there is no potential or no electric field is set up there is no free electrons are accelerating from one point to the other point so this value is equal to zero 
एंड प्लस और वी कॉल्ड इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ ईच इलेक्ट फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी जीरो दे आर फॉर वी फाइंड ए एंड दिस वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड टाउ देर फोर द ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी वी डी इज इक्वल टू ए टाउ नाउ फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी हैव From equation first we have acceleration is equal to minus e capital e upon m. By putting this value here, we get v d is equal to minus small e capital e upon m into tau. This is the drifting velocity of free electrons here students uh, here vd is equal to vn upon n is called एवरेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एवरेज वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आफ्टर अप्लाइंग पोटेंशियल सोर्स एंड टव इज इक्वल टू टी वन T2, Tn is divided by n is called average or mean time. Average or mean time between two consecutive collisions. and it is known as and it is known as relaxation time time or or period of relaxation between two collision this is the drift velocity of electron so copy till this point Okay, students. Hence, the drift velocity is defined as the average velocity of 
Hence, the drift velocity is defined as the average velocity of free electrons with which they are moving in influence of electric field applied. Hence, they constitute current across the conductor. Okay, now we are moving to okay one thing also student note here one note for you that is uh, <coughs> the drift velocity in the conductor is in order of 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second okay after that the conductor carries huge or higher currents because of the number of free electrons constitute in that conductor okay this is a noticeable point the value of drift velocity is 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second or 0.1 micro meter per second okay now we are taking the next point is relation between the electric current and drift velocity relation between electric current and drift velocity this is a very important derivation ok students we have a conductor whose ends are connected with a source of potential V with the help of connecting wires let the length of this conductor is small l and the area of cross section is a ok area of cross section is a consider a conductor conductor of length L L area of cross section A cross section A which is provided let its end are connected with a source potential V let its ends are connected with source potential V V. Therefore, the electrons are accelerated from P to Q and current is moving from uh, the electrons are moving from Q to P and current is moving in opposite to the flow of electrons from P to Q direction ok due to the established of electric field from positive terminal of conductor to the negative terminal ok let VD is 
ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी एंड आई करंट इज फ्लोइंग इन कंडक्टर ओके देर फोर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन इन कंडक्टर कैपिटल एन इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टू वॉल्यूम ओके दिस वॉल्यूम इज गिवन बाय ए इन टू एल दैट इज एन ए एल क्लियर ओके एंड टोटल फ्री चार्ज इन कंडक्टर दिस इज क्यू इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू ई एंड हेयर स्टूडेंट वी हैव वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज दिस दे आर फोर द चार्ज इज एन ई ए एल ओके दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ चार्ज एन ई ए एल दिस इज इक्वेशन फर्स्ट ओके नाउ the time taken time taken by one electron moving from moving from p to q is so student when electron are moving from a uh, moving from q to p q to p so it travel a distance of length of conductor that is l and it has a velocity vd therefore this time is given by t is equal to uh, l upon vd okay students now current moving from p to q current is equal to i is equal to dq upon dt that is for total we are using in place of dq n e a l upon vd and we have the value of vd is a uh, time t is l upon vd so student this l is cancel by this and we are getting the current is equal to n e a vd this is the value of current in the terms of drift velocity so copy it in this point and we are closing today to the last topic relation between electric current and the drift velocity thank you